What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw someone wearing a face mask. And it's pretty straightforward because you're just drawing just a little kind of accessory, I want to call it, on someone's face. But since it sounds that simple, I'm just going to get right into it because there's not much to talk about. So what you're going to need before we start, you're going to need a picture drawn of a face, any kind of face. It doesn't matter as long as it's a face. But if you want to learn how to draw a face, I made a few videos on drawing the face, which will pop up here in the card throughout this video. And there will also be links in the description if you want to go check out more of my videos on how to draw the face. So once your face is drawn, we're ready to get started. So we're going to start right here, kind of where the face creases, right here where the eyes are. We're going to come off of the eye. We're going to start off making the nose wire. So the little line that goes right right below your eyes and over the nose. So we're going to make this line here and go make a little upside down letter U right over top the nose for the nose wire. And then we're going to make another line just like it. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to just say right here where the eye kind of stops where that other arc is. We're going to make a we're going to make a line just like this for the stopping point of the mask. And that's going to be the fabric of the mask, which will be the main part of it. So we're going to finish that up. The last thing we're going to need is the elastic cord or the ear loop, whatever you want to call it, that attaches to the back of your ear. So we're going to come off of this point that we just drew. And we're going to come back to the bottom of the ear. And again, make another line just like it because it's a cord. And we're going to finish this line up. It's pretty much done at this point, but there are a little bit more important things that I want to cover real quick. So right up here where we started, we're going to kind of make the mask a little bit bigger than the cheek. But that's an option. You can make it that big or whatever. You can make the fabric a little bit loose at that part of the face. That's totally up to you. But for now, I'm going to make it just a tiny bit bigger and erase those guidelines. And then the most important thing that we got to do is erase the mouth. Unless, of course, your character is wearing like a transparent mask that shows their mouth and face as if they're not wearing a mask at all. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but it's one of those clear transparent masks. Never mind. But we're going to erase the mouth. Um, parts of the nose we're going to keep. I'm just going to erase some parts of it. Like the actual nose part. I can't think of the name of it uh, specifically, but I'm going to draw that in there. And then more of these guidelines we don't need so we can erase them. And then if you want, you can just add like a little line to pose as the mouth. But it's not going to be the mouth. It's just going to be like a little wrinkle because it's fabric. It's a fabric mask. And speaking of which, on these sides, we can add a little bit more emphasis on the mask. So we can tell our viewers that it's made of fabric. And also some little wrinkles on the corners. Because the elastic is pulling it behind the ear. So there's going to be tension on these two spots here. So we want to fix that as much as we can. But we don't want to apply too much of it because then it would be too much. And then... We are good. So that's how you draw someone wearing a face mask. Before I end the video, I just want to let you guys know to uh, stay safe. It's a big world. COVID-19 is still out and about, so uh, you know, just be careful. Do everything you can to keep yourself safe, your friends, and your family. You know, wash your hands frequently, social distance, all that stuff. But if you did like the video, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I